Deep fried boobies. I don't think that, a booby would taste very good. That That's not what you're supposed to do. Well, I mean, like any seabird, they tend not to taste very good. God damn it. They taste better than pigeon, though. Well, almost anything tastes better than pigeon. <laughs> it's a pigeon. Gull eggs are completely indistinguishable from chicken eggs. That I'll give you, but I said uh, seabird is in eating the bird. Eggs a different different story. Eggs are where birds come from. I uh, but the bird itself tastes very different than the egg. In the same way that eggs probably taste a little different from puppies, yes. Okay. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's my problem. Apparently my upload speed is clicking along at 380 kilobits per second. That sounds bad. That should be plenty. But that should be plenty if Mumble's the only thing that's happening, unless someone in your house is also streaming Netflix or something. Uh, somebody in my house is always streaming Netflix. Uh, oh. I'm uh, oh. I'm supposed to have the the speed to handle it, but my, my router's crap and doesn't work things properly. Mm -hmm. Just say when you're ready. Everything at this end is ready. Well, you guys go ahead. I'm going to attempt to restart my router and see if that helps us anything, but probably okay. not. Okay. And what? Alright then, so we're going to begin. To recap on our very first adventure, you all came together underneath the, uh, let's go with beneficial relationship with one trade dwarf known as Herrick. He had hired you at various points throughout your lives, and you've come together as a sort of um, emergency situation team. He has you handle things that either go wrong, have the potential to go wrong, or just need a little extra push in the right direction through whatever means he, you know, you be deemed necessary and he deems acceptable. Uh, this is one of the many situations he's landed you in. Apparently a shipment of his that he was expecting from the alienage has failed to show up, which is not that surprising. It's the alienage is becoming overcrowded, riling, and by the sounds of things, there may be a purge or some such if things continue to spiral out of control as they have been. It's bad enough to where getting inside the alienage was no problem, but getting out again may prove to be one. Though you did have a sp um, I hesitate to call it a speech, more of a look at my importance, obey me peasant moment with a Templar who, thanks mostly to Valyra's silver tongue, was convinced to at least say he'd try. Thus, you entered the alien age, secure in the idea that at least someone would try to let you out if things went really bad, and found the informant Herrick had sent you to, one Charles, who informed you that he knew exactly where it was, it just had been taken over by, well, an elven gang. And now you are here, currently removing the elven gang, mostly through force of violence, in fact, entirely. Very, very extreme violence. They started it. They kind of did, yeah, but to be fair, they thought they were mugging one person. Well, then they're assholes. I never said they weren't. Uh, you have just entered the warehouse for the first time. Uh, here, I'll have this door open. Nope, we deliberately closed it behind us so we could take a couple seconds for a breather before moving on into the building. Fair enough. Door is shut by your own hand. Um, inside, the only things of real note... Uh, this place is definitely not in the best condition, as you can probably tell. And the only, like I said, the only thing that's of real note is the table with some playing cards, maybe like half a deck, honestly, and a few extra spears. Uh, very specifically spears, actually, it's, you don't know why, it just happens to be around four spears. Not even well-made spears, just, you know, average spears. You're not... You can suppose, like, if someone was to, I don't know, lay siege to this place, they could just spear them at the door, but... Eh. Well, yes, you do. And that's all it seems to be in this room. Uh, the bodies of those you've slain are still outside, pulling in their own blood. 
they may or may not have stuff on them, but currently, eh. So, that's where you lie. It's presumed the supplies are... That the supplies are cut off in mid-sentence? And there we go. No, wait, that's Brad. I should leave too for solidarity, right? Uh, actually, you should you should stay on the line so that we know whether this is uh, California in general having a power problem, or Chris just having microphone issues. Look, California is just sliding into the ocean. Everything's fine. There's fuel head disconnecting. Yep. <laughs> well, they've been saying California is going to slide into the ocean, so. Yeah. Welcome back, Brad. Uh, apparently, uh, you rebooted be, your router, and it killed Chris. Awesome. I'm actually just doing a speed test right now. Okay. Oh, God, not again. <laughs> w? W. I posted that on Whisper earlier. Uh-huh. <laughs> Welcome back. What? Maybe. Maybe. My speeds are for Thebs, though. So, Skullhat, how was your uh, brief time in the land of Nod? Did you get to bang Lilith? No, he had to settle for Cain. I think he's in space still. Kane's in space? I don't know, does it sound any better to you guys? I'm apparently getting four now. I mean oh. I can understand you, you're just kinda Yeah, we're hearing we're hearing brief uh chirps whenever a, a packet doesn't deliver, but... We're getting 100% from Skull Hat. I'm guessing his uh, headset or something isn't working, right? As for Brad... Uh... Yeah, no light packets, just a fair number of lost ones. I suppose I should put this here for the stream. If anyone's ever heard of that kid show Caillou, yeah, or as... how you pronounce it. Uh, yes, Caillou. Uh, uh, again, as a Canadian, we are very familiar with that. Is that accurate? He's just the kid who's four. Each day he grows some more. I hear horror stories about this show. Well, there was the where Caillou wasn't really comfortable with this dude, so... His mom had him get over it by making him go to his house all day by himself. What? Yeah, 
the, the, did you do not hear me or are you says that uh we no i i heard you that you cut out a bit that time but okay Mm. We hear you. He lives. Sorry about that. I don't know. I had to go reset the router. You were back for a while before you talked again. Mm, Yeah, I know. It issues. Okay, so um, where was I? Uh, We sitting in your chair. Yes, uh, you had just uh, completed a summary of, uh, of of things. And I think we, uh, I think you were about to ask what we are up to, uh, or less. when halfway through a sentence you suddenly disappeared. And... Yeah, routing issue. Not sure why. I reset the router for now. Continuing. So yes, uh, what shall you do? Yeah, sorry. Just um, I'm going to do my last ditch effort to reset my. Wi-Fi dongle on my computer and see if that helps, but it's all I have left I can try. It, so. it is much more likely to actually be traffic cluttering up your uh, your router. Also, uh, well, still have, could could we get a control E to bring the stream to the uh, warehouse map? Thank you. you. Well, I just set. My- my ex's Netflix account uh, lo- to low quality pl- playback, so hopefully that'll help. Uh, it'll take effect when she next starts a video. The if she's current, an episode starts, starts a video. Yeah. All right. So, um, I believe uh, s- uh, someone wanted to do a bit of heal up. I am fine, so I will watch this door. Did- didn't we handle a lot of that already? If I we took a breather, we... then we're all fine. Yeah, because we use that actual action. Right. How you long does that take? Five minutes. Yep. Double check if someone would. I'm trying to get to it, but I'm trying to use the bookmarks and I don't use them often. Right. I have so many things open. After a breather, you got five plus. Plus constitution, plus level one. high. And a breather takes uh, five minutes. It takes five minutes. You can only take one after an encounter. Okay, then. If you are at zero health and the combat encounter ended, you cannot take a breather at all. All right, I'm just worried about um, more coming while you guys are... While we're while we're trying to get a rest, we uh, I honestly think... don't really need to because my healing I think handled everyone. Like the only person that was a little hurt was Valeria, and I think she was at like with her heal only down by two health. I'm down by nine. Oh, did we not heal you? Uh, sorry, I'm down by eight. yeah. You did, but I took a pounding. Yeah. Okay, the only so one yeah, that's, significant. that's the person that needs it. Uh, I got pushed over and somebody and then and they kicked me. So mm-hmm. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> they bullied you. It was mean. Yeah. Then they there took were, my lunch there, money. there were windows from facing from this building onto the uh, into the alley where uh, we we had to kill some dudes. Uh, I'm more thinking these ones yet. So um, Okay. And even assuming those were those five were the only ones roaming around out here, that ruckus is going to attract attention. I I think we need to push on and at least clear this building before we can take more than a minute to rest. That's up to you. Do you want to wait the five minutes in this particular room and hope nothing else happens, or would you like to press on? Just uh, mind that there was no way a quiet fight. Yep. Uh, I'd suggest Sarabas just uh, keep to the flanks. Yeah, we probably don't have time. Especially if we don't want, you know, outside elves also coming down on us. Mm-hmm. The three months to continue on. The doors away. Fine. 
mind, just let me chug 10 poultices. <laughs> Don't exist, but they're A, more expensive, and B, you have to actually make them, so good luck on that one. Alright. Uh, right. I, I see Valeria's already flipped a coin. Uh, Using stealthy walk over to other door. Okay, who's opening what door? Uh, I shall, uh, uh, does this door in front of me open uh, towards or away from me? Towards. I stand clear of it with battle axe lifted. Yeah, which way does it open? Uh, towards I... us. Right, but does it open where... Okay, that's the axe All right. That's why this pile. Have you listened at door yet? No one has, no. Listen I was at just... door. Okay, please roll me a listen. Underneath the perception skill. Okay. Uh, that's a shitload of stunt phones, ain't it? Uh, let's see. You hear creaking, I guess? It's not like footsteps creaking, just it sounds like this place is old enough to where like pieces might just fall out of the fucking ceiling at points. It might be a good idea to do this kind of quickly, or risk getting clobbered in the head, especially if you start, like, moving heavy shit and, like, making a lot of ruckus. It's bad enough to where if you really want to, you probably just run through the wall. Like, just bam. Don't recommend that. I'm not going to Kool-Aid man my way through this, snow. Yeah, but that's an option. Oh, yeah, uh, did you want to also listen, Mogan, at your door? Sure. Oh, yeah. You hear wood. Not really. Sure is a woody hearing. Mm-hmm. My heads are just cut out for the entirety of that, but I heard woody hearing, so I'm assuming I heard nothing. You heard a whole lot of wood. You, you heard... You, boing. Great. Thank you. Nice. Well, uh, uh, everyone wants to open a door, say something. Uh, Valeria, you <clears throat> swing open that door, and I'll make a dynamic entry. Okay. Flaya grabs the doorknob and heaves, and the door is stuck. Please roll me a strength might test. Assuming you want to keep opening the door. Yeah, just checking. Okay. The door is opened. Oh, now we go some it is the impenetrable blackness. There might be crews in here. I cast my magic missile into it. I run screaming into it. Oh, confound it. It's holding shift to delete, right? Uh, if you're using the fog tool, uh, no shift to clear fog of to Okay, so reveal. shift puts it, gotcha. Yeah, shield, shift re-hides stuff. Dinner, a room. Oh. Oh. You assault the empty room. Alright. I assume that door hovering just shy of a wall indicates that there is a wall there. Mm. Oh, here, let me. That, clear that. Yep. That better? Yep. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll. Look to my comrades back across the other way and point their way, point my way, shrug. I'm open on the door. This one opens with no problem. I'll wait for two of us to get around the other side. <laughs> But they're both empty rooms, so I guess it doesn't matter. We, we should probably pick a direction at this point. But we could flank them. Okay. Always an option. Listen, check. You hear breathing. Jesus. 
and it's not yours or Rinsland's. Did I say that right? You call no. I might have. <laughs> Rinlashin, that's it. Rinlashin. Rinlashin. Sorry, I wrote it down. I just didn't. I just. I don't know. Yep. Yep. It's yep, been two yep, weeks. Yep. Shut up. Yep. 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 Rolling stealth as I go to door. Okay. Add four. I'm going to Christ call above. All right, then. Christ above. Uh, oh. Sarah Bess, you lose track of the dwarf. <laughs> he appears to have vanished into the ether. Not really, he just rolled stupid good. Yeah, 21 will do that. He blends in with the empty room. Uh, so, I look uh, like wood. Is there anything you'd like to do, <laughs> Lobron and Sarah Bess? Listening! Fair enough. And you just don't really hear anything? I mean, there's... Slight creaking still, maybe a little louder, but but it's a door. Okay, I'm door. gonna roll communication to try to do a non-verbal motion to Rinlishin and tell him that you know there's someone over in this side of this door. That's fair. Go ahead. Plus one. There's something. Villier is definitely gesturing at you that something is wrong, Rinlishin. You can definitely read that, no problem. A uh, what would this be? I guess a communications role, because I doubt you have any of the specializations, so just communications to try and, like, hash out more. Plus deadly. Yeah, that's... Something is definitely wrong, requires her to be quiet. So other than that, you don't know. I shrug, point a thumb over my shoulder at the last door, then circle my finger to indicate again. Raise my axe. She'll nod. All right, while they're playing over here, uh, Mulgren, Sarabas, anything? I'm just going to sit here until the yelling starts. That's fair. Uh, Sarah Bass, you want to just join him in sitting quietly? Or standing quietly, rather? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that's some yelling. Ah, yes, Fire the crossbow uh, wildly! It does look like Mulgren's ready to like, uh, pop in as soon as the others pop in. So it's... He seems intent on being the second one in, if you say that. Well, I lost Mogren, so I'm going to go to the other. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't lose Mogren. He's right the fuck there. Doofus. <laughs> it's probably okay for him to be over there with with them, because... If you do want to join them, that's fine. Are uh, you all ready, then? Mogren's not doing what he wants. Sarah Bass is moving over here. Oh, okay, um, pop Larry's open the door. ready to open that door. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just. Uh, somebody hit me in the face with the door. Again. Oh, boy. I need. A uh, red, I'm assuming you're just charging right in. I take two strong strides into the room, ready to swing the axe at the first thing that looks like it might be armed. Okay. I need, in order, Valera, a perception scene check. Oh, all right then. Uh, Rin, the same thing, just right after her. I just need to check something. It's a matter of order operations. Yep. Plus zero. Okay. Uh, let me just review a few things. Oh no, wood! I know, how dangerous. Attack Somebody gave me some. The floor! Nope. Elves. Okay, so elves. here's the situation, Valera. Elves, so elves, elves are a floor. You know, I did think all elves looked alike, and this is proving it. I could have gotten more tokens, but they all have the same equipment, so why bother? <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, um, Valera, here's the situation. Essentially, you pop the door open, and Rin starts forward. However, you notice specific that elf, like, kind of leaning heavily against the wall, half crouched. It's, a, it's rather astounding you noticed him at all, but Rin clearly does not because he's going to continue forward. I will give you one chance to try and stop Rin however you see fit, and depending on what you want to try, depends on what you're going to end up rolling. Like, if you want to just wrestle him aside, that's a mic check, obviously, so. So, by crouched against it, I assume you mean ready to strike? He's leaning against the wall. There's a pair of short swords out. You can presume he wants to murder someone. All right. Hang on, just a bit more. 
So what do you want to do in this like half second you have to try and like stop him from continuing on? Or <laughs> assisting him in his entry. Or that, sure. Push him further in. Get in there, get stabbed. Yeah, I think basically a shoulder check trying to push him, keep him from moving forward. Strength might. Check, please. Plus three. Okay, you succeed a little too much. Uh, <laughs> a lot too much. Uh, oh dear. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rin, you're suddenly fucking shoulder checked by an armored knight going full speed with no hesitation, and it kind of feels like an avalanche of steel has decided to murder you. I'm just gonna roll this. What is your strength? Uh, it's three, right? My strength? Uh, my Not strength is uh, uh, the oh. Yeah, hers is plus three. Well, okay, bad news bears. Uh, between her heavy body and the door ramming you, you take six points of damage. Uh, that is reduced by your armor. I'll give you that one. I take one point. Yeah, it's not super fucking lethal. You are stopped, obviously. Um, you're not going to knock prone thanks to the door here, but I need to... Stun point uh... him! Yeah, Make it a lethal I'll blow. use all six of my stun points. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> okay, so the door is kind of not you... doing Wait, okay. It might be busted. With that, we can roll initiative. I'm still waiting for yelling. Well, Ren probably went, ah, because he was fucking body slammed. Dude, what? I need confirmation of this. I have now forgotten how initiative works. Isn't it you just, know what? So uh, have I. I just, I just realized one? I don't know. Or is it your speed rating? Uh, no, it is. To uh, the PDF. It... I, I remember you do roll dice, spare, but I don't remember what's Dexterity initiative what ability test. Okay. Okay, so dexterity. All right. Plus uh, plus, two. Plus two here too. One moment. Uh, need to write everything down. Plus two. Also Low plus two. We, we all have. We all have plus two. They're all are weird. Please tell me the fuck okay. just, like, tries to hit him and I save him, like, because otherwise it's just silly. Oh, man. Okay, what everyone get? So, everyone has plus two to everything, so Mogren and Sarabas. I'll just, I'll flip a coin or something, I don't know. Sarabas goes first, there. Because neither of you are faster than the other. Yep. I think ties are breaking by speed rating, but yeah, if it, if that's the same, then doesn't matter. Uh, no, my speed's lower than yours. The dragon no, die breaks the tie. Yours. Dragon die breaks the tie. The dragon die. You both, were, you both rolled squat. <laughs> <laughs> But Sarabas's two beats Mogren's one, so carry on. Hmm. There we go. So plus two, and that's a fifteen. And a, a fourteen and a fifteen. Because Valera is quick action, they are not going to get to free stab somebody, so Valera has first turn. Oops. Not me hit the button. Oh, no, go on, Valera. 
Uh, you have full uh, turn. It's just normal turn. Okay. Um, is there anything like cover in this system? For attacking around that? As long as you're in that square, I don't think so. I can't. I couldn't find anything based on cover that it had to do with ranged combat. So, mm -hmm. if you have your shirt on, you're covered. Uh, roll modifiers minus three. Defender in heavy cover, such as building or stone wall, or melee attacker in heavy snow. I I don't think cover is a thing in this system's melee combat. Okay. High ground. Oh yeah. Did we yeah, change? Yeah. High the... ground is cover isn't. Did we change the um, um, beaters and yards or whatever we were using? For uh, movement? It's, uh, it's, it's still, yeah, it's one unit per square. So whatever the unit is, it, that is it. And uh, we'll, we'll, Skullhead said you'll worry more about scale accuracy next map. Right, right, okay. Scale accuracy will happen next week. Yes, this place is way too huge for yards per square, but fuck it. Yep. Two meter wide doorway. Yeah. Attacking that guy, plus three. So it's a 13 to hit him? Yeah. Unfortunately, you do not hit his defense. Watch Your his uh, sword clangs against his as he does the classic cross guard technique, which is terrible in combat and shows his complete ineptitude. Never do that, kids. Uh, that's really could do uh, yep, next to I mine. I moved and did that, yeah. This guy. He just swung at. Uh, let's do this. Does a... Ooh, that's a lot. 16 hit you. Actually, yes. Hooray! And he has five stunt points. He's gonna wreck your shit. Fuck it, let's make this a lethal blow. Wreck your shit. Uh, that's an extra 2d6 on his attack, then? Alright. Short sword, so that's 3d6 plus... You take a total of 14 damage, reduced by armor. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, 15... Oh, no, no, it is still 14, because he doesn't get both benefits. He chooses one. Then 9 job. damage. Stab! Ouch. You find swords growing out of places that they shouldn't be growing. Swords should never be growing out of you. You clearly aren't a knight. Ren, it is your maneuver. Uh, An elf has managed to sidestep your knight and stab her repeatedly in the, uh, well, kidney area. Uh, there's no AoEs in this system, is there? Not unless you pull off a stunt, no. Alright, uh, I scoot through and attempt to take off his head for, uh, for, for offending our sensibilities. Fair enough. I wonder if I'll get to roll my first successful attack roll today. Let's find out. The answer might be no. When is your turn? Uh, plus two with my battle axe. Clang. He spins neatly in place and blocks you with his other weapon. His other still impaled in four Valera. I'm kind of surprised you only put plus two with that. Considering the options are plus one, plus two, and plus three, I mean, not all. Well, choices. doesn't a focus give you another plus two in it? I, I most don't had a have focus any weapon. weapon focuses. I only have, yeah. I, I, I only have used these weapons effectively at the moment. Well, since uh, someone Ren specifically is fully inside, I can show that. So this guy... Need air support! It's a bigger empty room. 
so this one. Oh, and these two were also waiting to do basically the same thing. Spies an elf who's just running here, not wearing the proper colors. How fucking dare he? So, can he aim... Actually, he's just swords out. So, he's just going to swap to his uh, bow and take... So, this is at you, Ren, with a bow. Pew, pew. That is a 18. I'm presuming that hits. Oh, yeah, that does. Let's see, what can I do with four stun points? Quite a lot. Okay, I could do dual strike, but I would call bullshit. He's not fucking Legolas. <laughs> uh, he is not somehow hitting you second. and Valera. No. It says he <laughs> no. could, because you're within six uh, yards of each other. It's just like, no. <laughs> no, you're not somehow, like, fucking bouncing an arrow. No. No. How do we know he's not Legolas? Because I am the prettiest elf here. <laughs> Pretty much that. Orlando Bloom looking motherfucker. <laughs> no, I am the prettiest. Anyway, no, I'm Do not you going to, to show Can you combine neither. stunts? I forget. You can yes. use as many stunts as you have the points for. You could do you an armor piercing disarm if you had an appropriate con uh, conditions. You just can't do one twice. He'll do a mighty blow pierce armor. So your armor is going to be halved, and he's doing an extra d6 of damage. Down to two. Roger that. There's like no mechanical. Well, okay, he does do more damage with the bow, so is that. So, total of ten, minus whatever armor's left of your. Take As an gauge. arrow sprouts, like, just right in your fucking thorax. Your, not your thorax, damn it, your torso. I don't know why I defaulted <laughs> the thorax. Elves just... have weird biology. Yeah, they do. I don't know why. I must have been talking too much with bugs and my friend. Anyway. And one of them appears to have missed your antennae. Yes, which we call your ears. One is arrow, chest, pain. Pain! Let's see. Unfortunately, guess who goes next? That guy. Yeah. You know what he's gonna do? The same fucking thing. And he does 18 hits you, I think, Rin. Yes, it does. Oh, dear. Um, we'll make that a lightning attack so he gets another shot at you for free. That will also, uh, it doesn't generate old. stun points, though. It can't. It just, it's just a free extra attack to do damage. Oh, he has to. He has to have a loaded he, missile. I don't think he can do that. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Um, if he had four case, points, he could do a rapid reload and a lightning attack. But yeah, but he can't. We'll do a taunt on you. His communication. You insult or distract one opponent with your choice within 10 yards of you. No, he's too far for that, isn't he? Yeah, he's way too far. Hmm. Well, if he can't debuff you, he's just going to take your weapon away. But he can't do that with it. Damn it, it's a melee attack. God damn. He can only really just murder you. That's like my only option. Kill you. Fine. Murder. Let's go with you Mighty just Blow. Rapid Reload? Mighty Blow and Rapid Reload. How's that sound? Okay. He has three points, so... Yeah, 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 yep, yep, yep. Now you get full armor on this one. So eight minus your full armor. Take three. There's another arrow sprouts from your torso. Why not his head? Because he's not dead yet. Though he's dangerously close. The hell you say? I'm at 12 out of 32. Uh... Oh god damn it, really? They all got the conga line? Okay, fine. How's your mother? <laughs> I'm gonna stab you a lot. Oh, there. Jesus. They're all getting stunt points. And uh, they're all rolling ridiculous high. Lethal blow, honestly. 
They're trying to kill you. Seems legit. Uh, 16 minus your uh, armor. What was that about your health? 16, you say? Uh, sorry, 14. I'm crazy. Okay. Uh, minus 5, I take an additional 9. 21 out of 32. Stab, 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 stab. It's not, not good. Nope. I think that's all they can do, though. Yep, that's everything. Uh, they are finished, and Sarah Boss gets to go. You see, uh, you see Rin sort of run in there and immediately gets sprouted with arrows and stabbed a great deal. Okay, North one. North Thug. I believe this Thug number... I think I believe number one, so he's Thug one. You see he's bombing. He's being bombed. Let's see, the target number is 13. Son of a bitch. Anything else you like to do? Let me, I need to look at the actions again. Yeah, there's a fair number of them, so I'll take your time. I don't think anything in particular happens when you fail to cast magic. It just goes. Pfft. Um, yeah, unless the spell has a thing, yeah. That mana. Okay, let's see. Um, I already did a major action. Uh, Yeah, all I got is moving, so, um, I know they have bows, so I'm gonna run around here. Smart. Um, that makes it Mulgren's turn. You hear yelling. From Ren. Yes. Yeah, he's an elf. He's probably yelling at how they desecrated the floorboards or something. Possibly. Is it a minor action to open a door? I believe so, yes. Yeah, I have no Opening reason for it Oh, sure are some elves. Elves! Kill! Well, rolling stealth for backstab. Plus four. Alright, they can actually beat that one. It is perception, let's see. I believe perception is seeing, but... Mm, I know, I'm just double-checking what they got. Alright. He notices you. He does not. Good, because the one on the right is the one I'm shooting at. Okle dokle. To be clear, he does not have cover. He is in no way, like, taking cover behind uh -huh. this wall. It's just like he's standing fucking there. In bow position. Crossbow! Damn it. Fucking elbow position. Foop. Yep, that didn't work. You break the window. Good job. Well, I was already pretty busted and covered in boards, so you just put a bolt on that. 
All right, that seems to be your full turn. To the top, Valera. Smash, mm, smash. All right, you have any minor actions before that to determine what kind of smash? Okay, or not. Uh, what's that total, please? Not high enough. That's a fourteen. That hits him. How dare you contradict me? Well, their fucking defense is fourteen when they use a defensive stance. So, <laughs> yeah, it's usually lower. Uh, all right then. So that is on number two. Is that all? Yep. Alrighty then. Thug number two, he just stabbed. You butt. I'm gonna kill your friend. <laughs> does a 17 hit you, Ren? Yes, it does. Why are they all aiming for him? Because <laughs> he's right in the open where they all murder him very easily. It's They're not, they're not like Knolls or Darkspawn. They're fucking... Ganger elves, they know when to mug someone who's weak. Admittedly, they don't know a whole lot else, but. Eh. Minus, wow, they're rolling really good. Um, minus your armor, naturally. Hey. Renan, is your turn. Get the fuck out of here. Alright. You get stabbed from every fucking angle here. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm going to. Uh... I'm going to try and take this one's head off. With the usual level of success. Have you thought about being a mage? <laughs> no, no, no. Go on. Uh, and then uh, uh, abseil right the fuck out of the line of fire. All right. Uh, looks like it's every other thug's turn. I'm going to stab you some more. Hmm, he might not hit you. Uh, 11, Rin? Bang. Hmm, you Okay, surprised. I uh, use the other two. Uh, that's a dwarf. I don't know. Ah! This elf is going to use the aim action because he got a free reload last turn because of a stunt. I believe it's a plus two to hit, so that gives him a really good chance of shooting you in the face. Oh, yeah. Double check he that, because really I know we had uh, some confusion about aim last time. Oh, uh, the confusion was uh, the reload action, primarily. You usually use your miner to reload a uh, bow instead of uh, aiming. But he can aim this time because his bow is already loaded because he got a stunt for, for uh, action reload, the fast one. So that's four start points. Yay. Yeah, no, aim is only a plus one. Oh, well, either way, he still hit you with a fucking 19 or whatever it was. They're good at hitting you. Four. All right, then. He'll do lightning attack and a rapid reload again. So we got another shot at you. Does a 15 hit you, uh, Blowburn? Uh... What is my defense? Yes, it does. Alright. You get armor for these separately because they're two different strikes, so 8 and minus your armor, then 9 and minus your armor. So 5 and 6, which makes 11 total. Mm -hmm. The other thug, he has to move to shoot you, there's no fucking argument there, and then we'll shoot you. That's going to happen. No stunt points. That minus your armor. Three. So you get feathered with fucking arrows. 
Yeah, that hurt. Uh, however, that's all of the thugs, so Sarah Bus gets his turn. See this guy? Mm hmm. I'm gonna try to Winter's Grasp him. Fair enough. Just looking up the target number. Target number is 12. Well, you got it just by rolling. Okay, good. So he's going to take uh, 1d6 penetrating damage. Max damage! Takes his six points on freezing fucking cold damage. And every turn on his turn, he takes another six unless he makes a constitution check. Okie dokie. Is it constitution? Uh, uh, constitution stamina. Uh, what is the difficulty of that? Uh, Thirteen. Thank you. Um... Still have a liner. Yeah, I don't want any of that. Bye. Suck on that. Bye. That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Mugrun, your turn. Bye. Okay, that also is fair. Uh, what is my speed? I am dwarf. I am slow. Uh, I can still move three more. I'm just gonna go there and then reload. That's fair. Top of the turn, Valera. Well, I should be doing this anyway. I'll aim. Okay. That's Plus allowed. one. And attack this same thug. Okay. So that makes it plus four. Got a 13. Yep. Well, unfortunately, as these guys have their weapons drawn, they're using defensive stance. They have 14 defense, so you do not hit. Well. Oops. There you go. I am sorry. Okay. Um, thug number two my... retaliates at you. Okay. I put my AC on my um, token. I have to use the restroom. Okay. Hits. Has three stunt points. Your character begins peeing. <laughs> this is going to be a pierce attack, and... Hmm. Have you considered the possibility that we're all going to die? Yeah. Well, that is time to start mutants and masterminds. Lol. Yeah, I guess stay aware, Mix. Oh, I could try and... Sure, why not? I'll just bully the knight. Uh, pierce attack and skirmish specifically to move Valera. Unlike, uh, so you can just choose to move the target of your attack two yards in any direction. So, one, two. Get the fuck out the way. Oh, and uh, damage. Oh, man. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Well, he didn't roll great. And we'll handle that later. Uh, Rin, you get a turn. So go ahead. Uh, if you're curious, this one basically stabbed Valera with both swords, then kicked her aside. Living is the better part of Valor. I'm going yeah, to take a run away and then slap that guy in the face with a fish. 
I'm going to take a minor action to activate my single weapon style, increasing my defense by one till the end of the encounter. Goody. And then I'm going to take a major action of... All-out attack on this nonsense. All right. Please hit. Someone's finally using the actions proper. Plus three. That'll do it. Yay! Someone finally hit something. Bifurcate! Bifurcate! <laughs> he has no stun points, though. I have no stun points. So all I can put into it is a 2d6 plus... Trifurcate? Quadfurcate! Ten. Jesus, I don't know. That is a very solid blow. He did not. Like, he's got. He got problems. Another hit like that, and he'll just die outright. Mm hmm. All right. You hit a guy. I rolled is, a uh, hit. It worked the rest of the thugs. Then. All right, the rest of the thugs. Where'd the dwarf go? It's time to roll constitution. Oh, you're right, this guy has to. Is it the same guy he that got passes. hit? Damn. It is the same guy that got hit, but he passed. It wouldn't... I Well, actually, it could have killed him. Eh, cold could have killed him, but he shook it off. Uh, he's gonna stab back at Rin. I mean, come on. Hit, but no stunt, so... Minus your armor, naturally. It'll be... 3 damage. They're trying their damnedest. Yep, 25. Uh, at least you don't have anyone to hit now. Damn it, why does it stand there? Oh, they're at a speed. Wow, they're fast. All right. Okay, they go that distance. They are really fast. Oh, hey, a dwarf. We're going to shoot in the face with bows. <laughs> How rude. Oh, it's that or shoot this weird thing over there. Hmm. No, they're after you. You, sh you tried to shoot them. So, uh, first guy. I'm a barrel. That's going to hit. He has three stunt. One of them isn't loaded at the moment. Yeah, I know. He's going to have to load and do nothing. Actually, considering how close he is, that one will swap to swords. Okay. The other guy's going to get a shot for three stun, so let's see. Unfortunately, he can't lightning attack both of you, which would be hilarious, so... Defensive stance and lightning reload, so he'll have a plus two to his defense and has another shot ready to go. Minus your armor, Morgren. God damn. These guys are doing fantastic compared to the last cluster. Yeah, seriously. Last cluster got their asses whooped. These guys are just kicking your ass now. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is all the remaining thugs. Uh, uh, Cerebus, it's your turn. More elves chasing after the dwarf, who now has quite a few arrows sticking out of him. Uh, just a quick sec, I'm looking something up. Okay. To be fair, they keep getting stunt points, which I'm surprised by. That means you have to roll doubles, so... Well, I unfortunately don't have my weapon prepared because I was casting spells, so... Weapon I'm out? Gonna... Weapon out. No, I'm going to rush this guy and hit him unarmed. Just going for the face. Ah, all right. 
going to claw at his face. That's fine. Uh, Fist is a dexterity weapon. Is that plus two? Unfortunately, due to his stunt trick where he has more defense, you do not hit him. And I'll use my, uh, yeah, that was a charge, so I'll use my miner to prepare my weapon then. Fair enough. You draw forth your blade. Uh, 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 run. Over here. I would like to point out you're not in stealth anymore. That That's not how it works. Oh, you just are forever? Or does he get a chance to see I you? I roll every stealth turn? every time I try to do a backstab action. Oh. That's crazy. Alright, go on then. Yeah, but that's what it says. I'm aiming at the one that Sarvash is not punching. So yeah, okay. now rolling stealth. Add four. Rolling again. Damn. Uh, let's see. Nah, he beats you even if you, yeah. Even if he had nothing to add, he at least yeah. matches you so he wins. Lard. All right, world well, kind of crap. <laughs> I did. Still firing at him. God damn it! I am really crap on everything. Yeah, nothing. No dice. Top of the turn. Uh, well, there are dice. So I just rolled three of them. I'm back. Um, so what happened to me? Was uh, you got clunked for four mm. points of damage with half your armor rating. Yep, you Round take four points, and you only get half. to use half your armor rating against it. Did People just... got hit a lot. Uh, You're losing Kyle, Kyle finally hit something. Yeah, he did. Let's go flat. Do I round up or down on the half? Down. Okay. So and I the rest of us one. are getting beaten up by elves. No, wait. Yeah, two damage. Okay. Uh, also, one, he managed to get a stab in. I, that's the one that got the stab in uh, that halved it, but he also got to push you a bit, so that's why you're standing over here. He's trying to get you out of the doorway so we get like more get at Rinslin when it comes to it. Also, I think you need to waste your miner to move if you need to. So yeah, he's, he's playing oh, smart. Just charge him. If you want, yeah. Alright. Actually, can I aim and then charge? I believe uh I don't know. You know, I don't know. Uh aim to take the measure of your next strike. If your next action is a melee attack or ranged attack, you get a plus one. Yes you can. Line up the charge. Unleash. Okay, so plus two. So that's 15. And you two struck. Stunts. You hit okay. him and you have stun points. Holy shit. Stunts, damn it. Two actually gives you the most of the options. I just need to find where they're at again. Page 54. That's the less useful page. Oh, Honestly, there's players, that's probably one of the few pages you want open all the time. Page or you go to the gameplay reference. You go to the gameplay reference section, which is on page 428, and has literally everything you could ever want. Yep. 430 has open. the combat stunts. So, give me the page again for the full. I had to reopen. 430. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, let's do a, uh, screw it, mighty blow. So, extra d6? Alright then. Yeesh. He is, like, you almost kill him outright. He is barely standing and leaking a lot of blood. But he is alive for now. Uh, and next is sure the very thug who's daily murder. Make sure to switch the option in the menu before we talk to anybody so we get by all the blood on you. <laughs> That'll hit you. <laughs> God damn. 
It seems a bit much for them to have plus five to, di- to hit. I don't know. Just what they, it's what it's written down right here. I, I I don't doubt it, but that just seems odd to me. Well, they don't have a whole None lot of health going for them. None of us that high. They have nowhere near your guys' health for one. That's, for two, they don't really have much in the way of armor. Much. Some. Yeah, it's just, you know, they have higher defense and attack than us. They have a lot of decks. Yeah, elves so... are a lot of dicks, but... <laughs> well, fine, you mighty blow me, I... Oh no, that's too expensive. <laughs> Let's do something else. We'll, we'll all mighty blow each other. Goddammit. How about a piercing attack, a d- disarm... And a skirmish attempt to kick you back where you... Sh- well, no, it benefited you. Hmm. We'll do a stay aware so his next test is easier. Okay, so... First, we'll deal with the disarm part of it. So you must make an opposed attack roll. If you win, you knock your opponent's weapon uh, 1d6 strength yards away. Into it. Okay, so opposed attack roll against him. Plus three... Plus five, so I think you've won, actually. Yeah, you've uh, won, so he does not disarm you. That was a waste. But he still does pierce attack and uh, uh, stay aware, so we'll do the perception thing. He gets it, and yeah. And you'll get half your armor against that hit. Okay. And that's all he can do. Rin. The two opponents you face look to be on their last legs. You, they're definitely not able to take another hit from either of you. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, uh, following, uh, following her lead, and now that I don't have to be constantly moving and other things, uh, my minor will also be to aim for a plus one. And then attack the guy right in front of me. You've struck? Yeah. Not a stunt to be seen. Yeah, I don't know what it is with these guys getting all the stunt points. It's just, mm. He did. It's gonna rain. You sink your axe right into his torso and just keep pushing until you hit something solid and he slumps over. Uh, all right, so thugs three and four then. Uh, well, there's this big scary man with a fucking goddamn giant sword. I think we should probably handle that. Probably, yeah. It doesn't even mean anything. I don't even think the flanking exists in this. It just makes sense for them to. Uh, right, so he still has go out. Doesn't draw it. Well, it's for him just to shoot you in the face. So. I guess it'll just shoot you in the face. Eh, well. Hmm. Oh, I know what they'll do. They're gonna try something. So he's gonna stand there. And take a swing at you. The swords. Does a 14 hit you, Cerebus? Yep. Unfortunately, he gets stunt points, so he can't even do the thing he wanted to do. Five minus your armor, naturally. And the shooty guy is just going to have to shoot you point blank and look like a stupid idiot. Durr her. Oh god. Does a 15 hit you? No. <laughs> Here old Max stun. Oh god damn it. Alright, what's he do? That feels weird that he could just fire a bow in melee. I know, I don't know, I just, there's nothing that says he can't. I mean, let's be honest, in Dragon Age you could, so, whatever. In lots of things you can. Just, there's no penalty to it, is the weird part. It's like, there's no reason to just... There's no reason for them not just to stand there and point blank range shooting you in the face with a bow, it's just weird. Oh, it's better than using your gun and your missile weapon in melee. Like, using it as a club. 
Mm. Like the green arrow does all the time. He's going to do pierce armor, lightning attack, and rapid reload. So here's another uh, shot ready to go. Uh, he's going to shoot his second shot at uh, Mogren over there. I think that misses for once in his fucking life. Uh, and uh, this is going to get... Uh, this is it uh, against you, Sarabas. You only get to get half your armor, though. And you roll minimum. So six and only half your armor is taken away from that. Rounding down. And that's all they can do. So Sarabas, it is your turn. These two are doing fucking fantastic, by the way. Like, this whole time, they've been getting massive stunt points, huge hits with their fucking bow. Yes, we know. Guy. They're broken. You don't need to rub it in. Thanks. And now I'm going to try it back. Okay. <laughs> what just... I don't know. I don't know if there's a bonus to charge. I don't know. Would aiming get you the same bonus? Yes, but that's more fun. <laughs> well, you definitely hit. Uh, the difference is... Oh, no, that's all out. Um... Yeah. Yeah, no, no no, functional difference in backing up than charging in versus aiming. He, he just seems like the type who would back up and then charge back. He's not a goat. <laughs> Looks like one. Sarabas the bull. Just double checking my damage. All right. Solid blow. Uh, Mogren. Hmm. I think I need to get in there, which means I shouldn't spend an action, a whole turn reloading. So, alright, minor action to switch to short sword and charging dwarf. Charging dwarf. Who would you like to swing at? Uh, the one that's more hurt. What is my bonus with my short sword? I believe I still add dexterity to that. Is it's a that kind of weapon, but I double check. Um, you wrote. Yep. Hmm. Has dexterity next to it in the weapons, just like bows do. Roll away. So, let's see how badly this misses. With two, I don't think that hits. Unfortunately not. Yeah. However, uh, do you have a plus one from charging? Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Did you include that? No. That is not so, it's a total there. of 13. Yes. That means you hit. Yay! He doesn't have a sword out and he's not doing the defensive stance thing. You've struck. Which will give me a total of 1d6 plus 3. Alright. More pain for him. Dwarf beats elf. Valera, your turn. Valeria. Valeria, sorry. Aim. Hit. Well, look at that. That's you a plus hit. four with five stunt points. points. Woo. Okay, I'm going to save you time. This guy's at one health. But I don't care. <laughs> I'm overkilling this. Fine. I just, I'm telling you, don't waste your time disarming or proning Reful unless you want to take him alive. No, if you want to take him alive. Hit the other one. We can find a different one? survivor. 
Yes, hit the dead one. Oh, I thought that was the one you were hitting, and he preemptively uh -uh. deaded it. Really, okay. super mega ultra dead. Yay! You get a 13 health. Why? Extreme murdered. Well, that's the one who was going ahead of me in an it. Uh, yes. Yes, it was. Ren, your turn. I move to here to see what all the uh, noise over there is, and switch to my longbow. Yep. Bow is out. Uh, Thug's turn. Well, this suddenly turned the tide. Uh, bow guy can still just shoot at point blank range. I mean, fuck it. He has ammo. You don't know. They're in melee combat. They're smarter than this. Even if he has a shot, he's not going to take it. He's going to swap to his swords because he needs the stance. They're supposed to be intelligent, damn it. Uh, this at Cerebus. Son of a bitch. We get it. You're trying to kill us. Yeah, well, I say one day. Okay, he's going to try and disarm you, Pierce, and let's go with Skirmish. So disarm first, so this is an attack check versus your attack check, so we're just rolling off. I keep probably going to win this one, but go ahead. Alright, it goes d6 plus his strength. They have, like, no strength. I don't think they have any. Oh, no, they have one. It's going to go six in a random direction. Or does he pick it? No, oh, direction he nominates. Uh, it's in that pile of wood. Uh, what weapon is, was that just disarmed from you? I believe he has a great sword. Oh, I really got our spears and stuff. Oh, so that's gonna work. So yes, spear disarmed. Uh, have your armor, and he'll push you in a second. But for now, the actual swing. That'll do. Oh, that's uh, nine versus half your armor. Rounded your armor, rounded down. And he's gonna push you. Actually, he's gonna skirmish, so he's gonna move himself. One, two. And his friend is going to go for Mogren. Going to hit. With stun points, again. Are you kidding me? Uh, he's going to try and disarm you and skirmish, I guess. Oh, skirmish, or... Yeah, skirmish. Alright, so, uh, disarm first, so combat checks against each other. So, 16 versus your... 2. Well, then, uh... Damn, 7. Uh, fucking whatever weapon you have equipped, you pile. <laughs> What'd you have out? Short sword. Short sword pile. And he's going to skirmish himself. One, yeah, one, two, directly over there. I'll just make another sword. There we go. Thank you. All right, uh, that's all they can do. Cerebus. Okay, you can't charge through a door. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do a strength might to try to charge through the door. Uh, well, that's fair. I'll allow that. Okay. Okay, we'll fuck that door. Um, <laughs> I'm out of here. Door fucking exploded. 
Hot, There's no I, more dark yeah, splinters. splinters. Yeah, I have one health. I'm fleeing the battle. Yep. <laughs> Go for it. Dark gone. Yeah, I, have I have five enough, health. I have enough speed that I'm out of here. Bye. Okay, Cerebus uh, scampers for it. He's gone. Uh, Logan. Um, I'm also going to flee, but not out of the door. I'm going to flee towards There's no door. bigger armor. Well, he yeah, hit it so hard. Point. There is no door. There's a doorway. <laughs> I mean, 17 with 5 stun points. There's not a door anymore. <laughs> There's a mage-shaped hole where there used to be. Yes. I am here yeah. now, and I pulled my bow back out. Yeah, Fair most enough. of it are smoldering. Uh, top is Valera. Who? Valeria. There. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna Valeria. Start Valeria. Valeria. There's an I. Uh, why do you there. all have to fucking pick names? Just call yourself Doof and Doofer. Fine. Valeria. This isn't even that weird of a name. It's, it's an actual me. name, yeah. It takes. I have to think about it. That makes it hard. I picked someone. This is actually names. Like her whole name is a real name. Okay. Well, if I, I just pause to... to think about how to say it, it's it's gonna give me a headache. So Valeria. Brad, well, Brad. If that's hard for you, I'm just going to name myself two plus two, and then wait <laughs> and wait for an hour for you to come up with the name. His name is 2 plus 2. No, it's 2 plus 2. Valeria, please take your turn. No, I'd like this discussion. I don't do well with names that require, that can mean other things, right? I have to, like, they don't immediately, phonetically, like, there. If they're not immediately would, phonetically would you, would pronounceable. Would you pronounce Bob as Boob? Sometimes. Yeah, that, that's spelt the way it sounds. <laughs> Okay. Move and charge, I'm guessing. Um, I can't, because that's... I, charge is only half your move speed? Yes. And yep, I can't from there. Get... Nope, six gets you to either of them. Right, but my move speed's ten. Oh, never mind. <laughs> so. Just sort of walk up, intimidatingly. Pretty much. Okay. Uh, Rin. Uh, I don't have to worry about her being in the way to... Nope. Okay. Actually, no. Hold on. I just noticed an action I didn't notice. I'm gonna take a guard up. Okay. You put your shield in front of you and are ready to start dealing with, you know, problems. Yep. Plus Run. two to defense of my choice. So, and now so. you see the B-shape pull over here. It's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> Uh, I am going to, uh, let's see here, you can't all out ranged attack, so I am going to aim and attack. Fair enough. Uh, attacking the nearer one. Okay. You've hit with five stunt points. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that is going to... That is going to rapid, re yeah, rapid reload and dual strike. Okay, so uh, are you hitting the same target then? Uh, checking... I believe you have to with dual strike. I'm not sure. Uh, a secondary target, yeah. Uh, okay. Lightning attack is to uh, to do a, a second uh, a second target apart to do yeah the same or different. Wait, what is the difference? Oh, pardon. Apply the test result of your original attack roll to the secondary target for dual strike. So, uh, same result. Oh, well, then you hit him as well, so... Okay. Uh, so that is... So I think uh, Dual Strike is your arrow literally goes through him and hits this friend. Or, you know, s escapes by him or whatever. Yep. Uh, I think I still roll damage for both. You do. Yeah. Alright. Alright, the first guy 
Surprisingly, his armor absorbs them. Yeah, the first shot, first guy doesn't even notice. Second guy, though, no, Pin takes attention. So the arrow sort of skims off the armored sleeve of one thug and then impales itself neatly in the other thug's thigh. Oh, now we're supposed to believe this magic arrow theory? Yes. Yes, you are. Uh, the thugs. Bows out. Shoot the knight. Logic. Well, a 20 hits you, I think. Stop getting stunt points. I don't know why they do. They just do. I think only one of them has rolled below 10 this whole combat. And that's the one who missed me. <laughs> uh, they're going to go with a pierce and rapid reload, so you only get uh, half your armor on this one. They know a knight when they see it. Now the other guy, follow up, same thing. 17 hit you? Mm -hmm. Well, wait, no. Is it equal to attacker's bonus? or? Yeah, it's the same thing yes, with AC. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, well. He can't do two. Honestly, he just, he's just going to do a pierce attack. They, they understand you're covered in armor. Relative. Arrows sink into your shoulder plates. At least you have matching. Oh, oh. Uh, that puts me down. That's a problem, man. Uh. Okay, there we go. Never mind. Carry on. Carry on. Uh, just, See, so, I was just double checking my math. Uh... Yep, that's 16 damage, so. Are uh, you at zero or negative? Zero. Ah, well, you're not going to be dying then. You're just. Kind of kneeling there, half standing, sort of helpless, I guess. Basically, you're not going to bleed out and die as long as they don't stab you again, but you are basically helpless. Uh, I'll have to look into that a little more. From what I understand, though, it works funny. Dying. When a player character's health reaches zero, he is dying. He will oh, die after right. a number of rounds equal to 2 plus con, unless he receives healing. The dying character can talk, but cannot take any other actions. So you have like a dying so speech. Uh... I started their turn on the final round, so the allies have until then to save him. Well, alright then. Cerebus. Or, sorry, Mogron, because Cerebus is wrong. Guess what I had to do? Uh, reload? Reload. I guess I'll move over here. Rin, it's your turn. Valir is bleeding. Yep. Minor to draw and attack. Nearest one again. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Finally. Uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, I had great success with that last time, uh, so I am going to, uh, I'm going to dual strike and rapid reload so that I can reload in between them, and since I can't pick rapid reload again to be reloaded after that, I'm just going to... Say I'm wearing you a plus one on theoretically your attack rolls if it comes up. Uh, plus one bonus to the Test I make probably oh, oh, doesn't are stack tests. with any doesn't stack with anything other than from focus. So so it won't stack with aiming or anything. Hmm. Um, skirmish is melee only, right? No, you can do that whenever. Skirmish you're allowed to. Uh, in your case, if you spend one point out, you can move two or move them two. 
I have a spare point, so I'll uh, send the uh, I'll, I'll I'll send the near thug back into the doorway. Might pro- keep him from charging someone. Fair enough. Uh, and okay, so that's a uh, dual strike. So the same attack roll, uh, uh, same attack result is on both of Definitely them. So I just him. roll damage twice. First and second. Oh, for Christ! Wow, they do no damage. It just pings off their armor. That armor is very four? sad. Seriously? If armor five, and no, I oh, don't know why. These yeah, no. bugs in the what? alienage. That's equal I... to my armor. I know. The bugs in an alienage are better equipped than than adventuring heroes. Okay, okay so yeah, to be like... clear, they have plus five attack. They have higher defense than us by a lot. What's funny is these aren't as bad as the other option. We we attacked the player characters here. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, we're the NPC party. I think, I, from what I'm able to garner so far, and this isn't me bullshitting, this is something you're supposed to throw at players at this level. A, luck has almost everything to do with it, especially stunt points at this level, cause, and B, they're just as good as you, apparently, at this level. Like, they're just... They just we're, are. We're getting they're good. Not just good. They're better than us. Well, the other option were guys who had yeah, slightly less defense. They have more armor than our highest armored guy. Well, the uh, other option were guys that if they were both attacking the same target, you had like loads of extra shit, and I thought that was worse because that's what all of it. Basically, they've been doing that the whole fight, so right, I couldn't determine which was worse. <laughs> And judging for the first encounter, which had more guys, it went fine, so. Yeah. There is a reason they're unusually well equipped for gangers. Yes, I'll grant you that one, but. Carry on. And even the other option is the same armor, so I don't know. Uh, where was I? Mm, oh, yes. Uh, shooting. Honestly, Ren's the bigger threat at this point, so this one's on Ren. Uh, 14. Fourteen does succeed. All right. Just normal shot. Full armor. The other one will shoot at Milgram. God damn it! This is gonna actually seize the initiative. He wants to go higher up. Oh, and if he's hit Mogren, then... Holy shit. Alright, that's on you, Mogren. Can't believe they're winning. Alright, then, um... Unfortunately, due to how Siege Initiative works, you don't yep. get your turn yet, Ren. He gets to go again. Yep. You love both. Shoot. At Ren. Son of a... Alright. For his next task, he's going to run a World of Darkness campaign and throw us against two ve- two werewolves. Yes, <laughs> three werewolves. This is like the lowest thing I throw at you. That's not like a wolf. Um, yeah, I know it's happened. Yeah. You gave yeah. him the wrong stats. You sure? This you the gave them lieutenant. all brigand lieutenant. No, I didn't give him brigand lieutenant. That's not yes, the one I gave. Yes, you did. Him. No. That's the only one with armor five. No. Yes. You're looking on the wrong kind of creature. Brigand Archer. Armor Not rating that 3. May I continue? Go ahead. All right, then. We'll, 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 uh, figure out, we'll figure out what happened when, when, uh, so when we get there. Okay, where was I? Um, uh, I hit... Who did I hit with this? Mugron? No, it was uh, Ren. Ren. It's Ren with five. Rapid reload, skirmish, and lightning attack. So he gets two. So lightning attack means he has to shoot against Mogra. Hits. So. So there's damage on each of you. Uh, he got another arrow ready to go. You can do aim next turn. And... Anything else? One, two, three, four. I feel like I'm missing something. 
Oh, right, he skirmished. Uh, two. One, two. And then Ren gets to go. Ren? Yeah, yeah. Just a moment. Okay, just making sure you heard me. Yep, yep. Okay. Uh, I... Minor to reload, and open to keep the pattern going. That is 10 plus... Did you have a rapid reload last time because you got a bunch of stun points? Uh, yeah, but that was to reload in between the shots. Ah, right. Yep. Uh, that is 13. You've hit. No stunts, so... Oh, and it's the nearer one as usual. Okay. There we go. Uh, other thug. He's wounded enough. Let's see. He demands you surrender. I blow a raspberry back at him through bleeding lips. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, he'll try and kill your dwarf friend, then. The dwarf's already dead. Oh, well, that's bad news, bears. Are you, actually? Yes. Oh, you're dying, Erlen. Tell me that kind of thing. Uh, that means the shot was at you, uh, Valeria. but he can't because of the cover. Uh, Valeria had her first round of still dying here. What's your con, by the way, Valeria? Only plus Valeria? one. All right, you 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 still got two rounds of your turns, and uh, uh, Mogren. I want to say plus one. All right. Yes. So, yep. Uh, your turns after these guys, so yeah, you have three rounds of uh, of of bleeding out to do yet. He draws he his draws swords, and that's all he can do. Draws and moves fifteen. Oh well, is it? That's not anywhere near that island. No, it's not. Ah, uh, crap. He was in the corner there, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to... He'll get there, so he can take some cover. Okay. He's going to still draw his swords, though. Uh, that's all they can do. All right. Ren, save the day, please. Working or, you on know, it. Sarah must come back and save the day. I don't care at this point. Working on it. Reload. And... Holy. Uh, plus that three, I don't time, think so... that's... Oh, uh, only plus Eight. three. Eight plus three. Okay, no, no hit. Their turn. Yeah, last time uh, it was ten. Let's see. Um, Draw yeah, swords. that miner was to reload. Jump out the window. Draw swords and move up. And, uh... That's all they can do, actually. They're done. Okay. What? They had to uh, to set themselves into a stance. They have to take an action, and they were using their bows. Yeah, before. that's actually true. I, um, yeah. So yeah. what they had to do is basically move over, like draw my swords, move, do my stance, then move again. Like surprisingly, not very mobile when it comes to like melee. So you're turning it, Ren. Yep. Um, doing the uh, doing the statistical balance here. And there's nothing like uh, zero points or uh, or anything in this system. Not that I know of. Yeah, if there was anything, like even just a once an encounter extraction or something, I could have a decent chance here. But uh, I... 
Well, this is all I got. Uh, miner to switch back to my uh, battle axe. And attack the one who's uh, behind me. Okay. That's gonna hit. Uh, it's gonna hit, but I don't have the stunts that I needed for a double strike. Mm. And that damage roll really bites. Yes, it does. Oh, uh, you did plus, hit him. Uh, hold on. Uh, plus one on that. I forgot strength. Ah. Oh, this is the one that's been hit before. Hold on. Oh, okay, he's dead. All right. <laughs> He'd been hit uh, actually pretty hard by uh, Cerebus, and I think Malgren got a hit in as well earlier. So he did, mm -hmm. you know, a thousand needles of kill. So there's just the one left. All right. All he needs to do is not hit me. Uh, actually, with that, <laughs> he's done. It's one thing when he has a friend, uh, hold up, but hold it's up, another up. thing when this bloody elf covered in arrows is still standing and hacks his friend apart with an axe. He's he's done. What is his speed? 13. They're really fucking fast. Move him his 13. She's gonna fuck it. Okay, you had friends to save, but that's fine too. Is he not running and then moving? Doesn't run that you go double, yeah? Uh huh. Right. You can run for double, then move. So you can move. Well, he's gonna go speed. there, and then he's gonna disappear from your point of view. So, like, do you wanna? Uh. And then move and. It's not restrained to straight lines or anything, is it? Nope. Run, move up to double your speed in yards. Move, move your speed in yards. Yeah, you can go up to 3x if you use both actions. Uh, do I hear, like, a door in the back slam or anything? No, but you hear, like, thumping, rhythmic thumping. You're not sure what it is. It seems to come from... Uh... That direction. I'm Very thumping and scrabbling. Yeah. Uh, my perception is plus zero. Uh, personally, I'm pretty certain that he's running up or downstairs, but what does my not perception ladder, tell actually. me? Judging from that, judge, definitely a ladder. It's too. Uh, it's not steady enough to be stairs. He's climbing down a ladder. Okay. Uh, I run to the sides of my friends. And, uh, oh shit, uh... Where, where's, where, is, is there anything I can do to deal with their wounds? I think anyone can take a heal check. Yep, anyone can take a heal check. And um, you've seen Valeria's... Uh, she has healer's kit on her. She always has one on her. So you can use that, is her point. The equipment necessary to treat injuries. Mm. Alright, let's see here. Potions, small knives, thread and needle. Uh, sword wounds. Um, pour the potion in, stab the knife in, and <laughs> then use the thread and needle to close the wound over the knife. Sounds about right. What do I roll for a heal check? <laughs> hmm. I believe it's based on... No, that doesn't make sense. Well, no. Healy lady, what's it based on? Cunning. It's cunning. That's it. Yep. It's based on cunning. 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 Part of the reason I had her take it, she has a plus three randomly in it, so. Alright, plus one. She is stabilized. She will not bleed out and die. And I think she heals an amount. I'm trying to remember how much you heal by. I'm trying to look it up, but the word heal is used like every second paragraph in this damn text. Health and healing, page 55. Here we are, heal action. Page 59. Uh, chirurgy? Yes, you treat wounds and illnesses. That's, oh, that's the talent. Dragon die times two plus cunning. 
Your dragon die was two, so four plus your cunning. My cunning is plus one. Okay, so five. Uh, Valera gains five health back. And she's no longer uh, dying, obviously. Right. Yep. And, um... Let me do uh, the next one. <laughs> sure. Same thing. You're rolling mostly for the stun points. Because you're not in a situation. So you have two, so that's four, plus your cunning. My cunning's three, so seven. Okay. Uh, to be clear, you go from zero to seven. Negatives don't, like, it's not a thing. They don't accumulate. The uh, downside I... is this is all we can heal from these wounds, period. You get back here. I need healing. I'm, I'm going to the door to see if I can see the bloodied carcass of our friend or the sign of, her, or no signs whatsoever of him. That's a great question. Hey, Saravas, where the fuck did you decide to run to? I ran away. Yeah, but well, way where in an entire alien is full of elves with knives? Ole. Ole, 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 ole. So he's dead in a gutter somewhere. I mean, I don't know where he is, so he doesn't know where he is, so he's somewhere. How am I supposed to know where I am? You didn't give us a map of the area. That's because you don't know the alienage at all. You don't live here and. Not welcome here. And it's just a warren of, uh, of, of shanty town. And I'm not making a warren. I do not have time to make the fucking labyrinth. Let's put it this way. You know where uh, Charles is. Would you go back to him? Charles is in charge. Uh, there is. There are healing stunts. One moment. Yeah, there are I'm healing stunts. away and climb something. You're on the roof, uh, vaguely near Charles, then. Simply because you know where Charles is relative to everything else. And that's where I'm going to rest. Fair enough. On the roof, near Charles. And admittedly, on the roof is one of the places they can't really get you, so that's fair. I do have big fuck-off claws for climbing. So. Oh, pardon me. There are no healing stunts. I, I thought there was a role-playing stunt that uh, that would apply, but no, those are all just conversation. I can converse so, with your wounds. For now, Sarabas, you're definitely going to be taking a rest for 5 plus constitution plus level in health. You can go ahead and heal for that, Sarabas. And so can everyone else for that matter, because I'm presuming you're at the very least taking a second. Picking up sword, taking nap. Um... Before I before I take five minutes to sit down and just chill, uh, no, there is one more thing I must underline must do. I'm going into this back room again and seeing where he went. Fair enough. You can have fun with that and sit in here. I'll give you one guess where he went. Yeah, down that ladder. Is there any sort of uh, like cellar hatch over, that I can close nope. over it? Not at all, it's pure. It's just open straight to wherever it goes. Is, um, the, is the actual hole small enough I can cover it with this crate? No. Is it small enough I can cover it with this barrel? Easily, yes. We're good luck lifting that fucking barrel. Barrels why just roll. The, why don't we just move <laughs> the crate near it, and if someone tries coming up, we just shove the crate on them? I will sit on the crate. <laughs> Why don't you grab these barrels and throw them down at anyone who tries to climb the ladder? All right, you plop yourself down on this particular crate. You notice, A, it's a box, not a crate. Uh, two, uh, can I get a perception sight from you? Red. Plus not. Uh, double checking something. Hold on. Ah, well, uh, one moment then. He was hiding in the barrel. Uh, no, it's just this stuff was concealing it, but you've noticed that it it was deliberately concealed, but it is there. Well, he definitely didn't go that way. Yeah, so. it would have been disturbed otherwise. Yep. Alright, I will set up camp on this box and keep an eye out for anyone coming back this way. 
I recommend we all chill in one room until we've licked our wounds. Question. There are what actually can we do little during, pots there. What can we do during taking this breather? Um, it's implied you're sitting around, relaxed, so nothing strenuous, but otherwise pretty much whatever you want. Then I want to check these bodies. Oh, you root through them? Mm-hmm. Well, okay, um, well, is anyone else joining her in rooting, or is it just cheese rooting? Someone needs to keep watch, so that's what I'm stuck with. Alright, Lobrin? I have enough arrows in me, I'm not touching their arrows. Okay, so you'll just lay in that there bed. Uh, there's a couple things you'll notice, Valerius. Let me just get the full list out. And since I'm silly, how much health do we heal for a rest? Uh, five plus constitution plus level. So, so seven. seven. Okay. And then, uh, other than their weaponry and equipment, so whatever armor they're wearing, whatever, you know, yada 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 yada, which is considerably better than any thug has any right to have, in fact, looking at them closer, like when they're not trying to murder you and you're busy trying to keep yourself alive, they look a lot more professional than thugs. At first glance, thanks to the like the clothes they're wearing, the distinctive like color scheme, that kind of thing, they could pass as thugs pretty easily if unusually armed thugs, i.e. the bow sticks out. But once you get a good look at them and kind of just remove the excess rags and whatnot, these look more like professionals than they do just some kids with knives. Well, they certainly hit like professionals. Yes, they, they do. Uh, in total, they have a grand total of yeah, about 50 silvers between all the bodies. Well, we can split those three ways. Uh, there's obviously their weaponry and armor. They just have longbows, long, uh, short swords, and yeah, I don't know to check what this armor is. Might take some arrows, if they have, you know, okay arrows. They have light mail, apparently. Yeah, you can have as many arrows as you want. They have shit tons. Many quivers. Uh, that's really it's all on their bodies. Uh, can I get a perception searching from you, Valir? <laughs> that's so that sure is a nice shoe he's wearing. I'll just take that, put it on my head. It's clearly a helmet. Helmet shoe. Uh, perception seen while you're doing this as well, Valir? His pockets are full of condoms. Plus zero. Other than the fact that they're definitely not... Um, elves have this problem of always looking pretty and thus always looking kind of young. Uh, but once you get a real good close look, yeah, these aren't like kid elves. These aren't teenagers, so... More evidence that they're not just some gang or teens. These are professionals in some sense, but dressed to look like teenage gangers. Might be more going on here than just some random punks taking a fucking, you know, warehouse. Right. And that's really all that's on them. Do you want to pile their bodies anywhere, or are you just not get fucked? Um, I'm too tired and hurt. Fair enough. Uh, they actually do have several cots. Not as many as they should have for the amount of uh, guys in here, but there are some spare cots to just kind of lay down on. I mean, they're used, but what do you want from me? Well, while they're resting, she'll tell the others yeah these these do not seem like uh regular regular goddamn regular uh thugs these are definitely hired help Bought like mercs well like mercs that one ran like anyone would. I don't blame him for that. Well, there's apparently two basements down here. And I don't hear anybody coming back up them to, to come looking for us, but you can bet if he ran, he has somewhere to run to. I would expect more. I volunteer not to fight any more elves. Allah. Um...
This is a warehouse, right? Yes. Anyone remember what they were warehousing? I don't believe you ever asked. I'll have to sell ask next time. You just know that there's something that uh, Herrick needs transported some goods. I'm used Nothing to stops you being... from fucking rooting through the shit. I mean, like, it's all here, presumably, unless it's downstairs. Hmm. I just want to know if this was... If this was a, a, a targeted takeover, is there something here they wanted, or have they already absconded with it? Uh, hard to does, say. Does any of all this broken wood look like it used to be crates or barrels? Oh no, it's way too rotted for that. That came from the ceiling, most definitely. Gotcha. Is there an upper floor? Not as far as you're aware, no. Like, that we could see from outside. Not from the outside, no. Unless there's, like, some sort of, like, magic shit going on here. There's no upper floor. All right. All right, I'll, uh... With, uh... With Mogren sitting down and, uh... And, and... You know, stay there. Keep an ear out. Uh, I'll, I'll... I'll take a minute and, uh... Hopefully with Valeria's help, uh... Canvas the... Canvas the inventory for anything that sticks out. All right, where would you like to start? Just move your token where you'd like to start. All right. Uh, please roll me a perception searching, I believe it's called. Plus not. Okay. Uh, you discover a small handful of coins hidden here or forgotten. You're not sure. It's five silvers or something. Uh, it looks like these particular crates... At one point, carry uh, produce. At this point, carry mold. And the two barrels are empty, except for the silvers you found. Well, I'll just pocket those and carry on. I'm too poor to uh, to, to, to have scruples. Fair enough. Uh, Valir, are you joining him in this certain around thing, or are you just watching? Yeah, might as well. Okay, uh, I'll let you both roll uh, again. Location. Uh, there, what's your total? I have zero in perception. Oh, okay. Well, let's see. Ah. There's something wrong with this wall. It's not situated, right? There's not a lot of ways to put it, but it looks crooked. And the wall shouldn't be crooked. <laughs> like, that's not a thing. As to this, old, full of uh, spare clothes. Well, does it look like, does, uh, does it, is, uh, is this wall uh, flanked by any nice, vertical, strong timbers? Um, yes, actually. Good. Then those are what's supporting the structure, and this section of the wall isn't. I apply the mall to the middle of, my mall to the middle of the uh, uh, crooked section. Okay, that's going to interrupt your fucking rest. <laughs> I I assumed that it was, uh, that it was, that we've been a few minutes. In the yeah, you're not wrong. At this point, uh, the rest is more or less finished. Sorry, okay. Bus. I don't know if you'd go back to check on if your friends are alive or not. That's a fair assumption. Do you want to go talk to Charles and like have the rest of his men charge in? I mean, even if your friends are dead, from what you saw, there's only two elves left. So you're pretty sure the men that uh, Charles does have, all three of them, plus you could probably handle it. Plus that it'd be injured. Like all right, so you'll try and rally Charles and his troops to come in here and finish the job. I'm not going to need you to roll anything on that. I'm just going to... It just takes a minute. Uh, right. Uh, so, Rin is just going to wail on this with a hammer. Delira, Mogur, are you going to do anything? 
Um, she doesn't have weaponry that'll really assist with this. Okay. Uh, so well, she'll move debris out of the way, I guess. Okay, she, she is helping then. Uh, Mogren? Anything you want to look at while they're doing that? or I'm keeping crossbow pointed at the two ladders. Fair enough. And with that, this wall is eliminated. Mostly I'm just using my maul so that I have a weapon in hand if anything's on the far side of it. You know, saying Kara is Spanish for this wall is eliminated? There you go. There you are. So, as the timbers are broken, shattered, and just bashed to shit, you reveal a shattered statue of indeterminable age and some sort of semi-secret like side passage the thing is this is a different building connecting to this this is like a this is just a building that was uh basically backing this warehouse and didn't seem like there was any connection but apparently there is through a false wall or semi-false i proceed in cautiously all right Caution is your third name. Seventh, actually. Oops. Hold on. So the first thing you see of clear, you know, clarity is what looks like an old wine cellar, or at least a wine storage room, and there is still wine in here. Uh, not many, and obviously really old and dusty, but yeah, there's there's booze in here. Found the booze hole. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little less clear. That statue chunk that's been fallen or deliberately placed, you know, it's not clear what's on the other side. You're going to need a uh, uh, perception spot or scene, perception scene in order to. That'll give you an idea. Damn, I keep doing that. Uh, hold on. Exploration stunts. Fair enough. I wait. The, the object of my attention, I receive a plus one bonus to further to tests to examine or perceive aspects of the object of your test until the time or venue changes. Ah, then you notice the thing that matters. There's books in there. Rather a lot of books. Uh, not in great condition, obviously, but uh, might have been a library or at least someone's private study at one point. Ooh. And no other doors into this area? No, it's not as far as you can tell. That's the strange part. Hmm. Well, one of many strange parts. Let's be real. Well, I am not the... Uh, I, I am not... I am not thick. Weirdly there. Other than... Yeah, cunning seems to be the only intelligence stat. Cunning is this like is... your rough idea of how smart you are, yeah. Yep. Uh, I, uh, I guess you're, uh, Valeria to, uh, to come forward and maybe help me with moving this statue, fallen statue out the way. Valeria? Help. She will help. All right. Okay, uh, strength might from both of you, then. I mean, you're just moving this thing. Four okay, ten. that's creepy. Plus one from me. Uh, actually, between the two of you, that will actually move the statue. Hold on. It's all one thing, so I can't actually physically move it, unfortunately. But I can. Well, you could just rotate it a bit. I couldn't find it. Oh. That'll have to do. Sure. 
I had we another one. Hold on. Yeah, no, that was really right. I guess that's what I'll have to do. There you go. Close enough. Yep. All right, uh, you may continue in as freely. Uh, there's definitely some debris in here, and there's a lot of, like, books and things. Uh, let's see. From what you can, if you're going to go through them, from what you can read and, like, just look at, uh, they seem to be mostly history books. Um, older ones, you think? Uh, do either of you have... I really don't think you do anything, really, that applies here. I guess just raw cunning from both of you. Plus one. Plus three. Unless it has to do with heraldry, then plus five. Ah, well, in that case, Valera, you recognize our legion heraldry, at least on one of these pieces of uh, historical documents. You have recently believed this might be an Orlesian take, or at least historical accounts, of the time they occupied this realm, which uh, during uh, Logan McTeer's reign, 99.9% .9 of these were burned. You're pretty sure these things are about worth their weight in, like, silvers, give or take. Or Legion. Sorry, I slurred. Or Legion. So, uh, for a history lesson for anyone not aware, the Orlesians at one time, which is a neighboring kingdom, occupied Ferelden, this kingdom. And, well, no one liked that. There's a big rebellion. But during that time, these books were written, probably personal accounts or historical accounts of some history, written by Orlesians. And when a certain man named Logan McTeer came to power, most of them were burned or removed, and many of them had already been burned before that even. So these are very rare manuscripts and are likely worth a lot of coin to the right person. So you said it's worth their weight in silver. Aren't they just paper, so they weigh almost nothing? They're pretty thick. They're worth their weight in gold foil. <laughs> they're worth their weight in silver, so they weigh, they're weigh worth roughly two to three silver. Well... Right. I forget what's above silver in this. I don't think it's gold, is it? Uh, it is gold, yep. It's just a lot of... It's, oh, yeah, it's 100 silver to a gold. That's right. Yeah, the, the for most people, the basic unit of currency is silver. Yeah, you're going to see more silver, I think. That's why I said they're worth their weight in silver or maybe a very small handful of gold. Very small. <laughs> Uh, jumping quick over to Cerebus, it's about now you'd arrive with the troops, and I don't really expect them to have... They're not gonna... Oh, all right, let me get them. It's not really their job. Old and thugs. Apparently they all look the same. Hmm. I guess I didn't save over. Crap. All right, oh, Elven Thugs it is. Dead Elven Thugs flank, your, flank you as you approach. Oh no, undead thugs! Actually, he only sent two, because he's, he's not going to leave himself unguarded, so he's only going to give you two. So, you and your two flunkies, I suppose, arrive. Um, I'll give you control of them. Yo, everybody, I brought undead thugs. There you are. Uh, you should have control over them now. Uh, you can bring them with you if you want. So it's pretty apparent the once you get in and they all go, ah, that it's, you know, things went better than expected. Crossbow goes off. <laughs> twang. Bang. Oh no, elves twang. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, Kunari twang. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Cerebus, you arrive back to the immense surprise of your friends being alive. And you're dead for some reason. He twanged me. Oh. I did say twang. <laughs> Alright, um... 
Uh, so Valera and Rinsalin at this point are rooting through and collecting. You really cannot zone. say that name, can you? No, I can't. Again, I some things I just default to saying, and I will never learn otherwise. You know what? Just go with Rin. Rin Lashan. Insulin. See, you say that. You say that now when you're focusing on it and you've been called down on it, but you can never do it with just talking. No, I can't. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway, uh, he if, called Valeris earlier, if we've and that made me chuckle. If uh, if 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 we if we've determined that there's that uh, a good deal of this is older books, then that is officially out of my wheelhouse. Uh, is there anything other than books in here? Not really. That scrolls, but you know, big I will difference. come look at books. I have an appraise ability. And, oh, fair uh, enough. I'll I'll. Uh... And I don't have a bonus cunning, but I do have the lore talent, so I get more stuff if I'm successful. Mm. Go ahead and roll. Yes, cunning, cunning focus yeah. evaluation. Okay, go ahead and roll as well. God damn it. While they well, do that, I'll ask, these, I'll, I'll, I'll ask these thugs to keep an eye on these uh, ladders. The uh, There's possible foes coming. Be sure to shout if anyone kills you. Yes, sir. I'll begin searching the wine room for, you know, interest. All right, we'll start with Cerebus because he rolled yep. amazing. These are a definitely history books, and b they're definitely of our legion make. Uh, they're likely written by someone who managed to use this as a whole, like a hideout essentially during the occupation, and either died and rotted away to nothing, and trapped in here or something. The interesting bit to you is that these are rare beyond belief. For a lot of reasons, but primarily the use for you is you can use these as leverage. Uh, if these were to be found in some noble's estate and is like personage and not just some scholar, I mean like just a noble, it would be presumed he might be supporting a religion occupation by those being found and he could use these as blackmail basically if he planted them right. Awesome. I'm leverage. going to explain that and hand it off to our thief. Alright, a uh, pile of books. Uh, Morgren, uh, you've just been handed uh, about 15 gold worth of history. Okay, then. That's your rough estimate how these are worth, about 15 gold. Okay, cool. My, my I knew wrong, gold, but, like, as in 500, but yes, but yes, gold. 500 silver. Uh, the, no, the 500 liver, silver. The liver age comes after the dragon age, uh, Kaylee. Oh, okay. I thought there was the alcoholism age in between. Ren, would you like to uh, roll on the booze? No, the alcoholism age comes after that and kills it. Oh, yeah, so the liver age comes along and is great, and the alcohol age comes along and destroys everything it made. Yes, yeah. yes. I search the, uh, the, the, the wine cellar for anything of, uh, of, of interest, including possibly one or two of these bottles into my backpack. Surprisingly, these are almost all intact and still sealed. These are Orlesian wines, primarily. Uh, you know, without even trying, these are worth money. And they're also delicious. Can I get a summary of about how many there are in these racks? 52. Hey guys, I found 50 expensive Orlesian wines in here. That sounds like a party. <laughs> Looking at wine. That's a 13 for appraisal for evaluation, I mean. Uh, let's see. Well, most of these wines, while decent quality, aren't honestly worth all that much. You're looking at about, oh, 40 silvers for the lot. With two exceptions. There are two bottles there that are made in a vineyard, and you being a dwarf and knowing alcohol, you know fucking alcohol, that doesn't exist anymore. And it was a rather nice one at that. Combine that with the age, and that's about two gold worth of wine. Rich wine! It also probably tastes like heaven, and it takes every instinct in your body not to down it. Do we sell the rich wine, or do we chug the rich wine? 200 silvers is a lot of money. It is. Now, you would have to find really a buyer, good. naturally. This is, 200 silvers isn't just... 
that's best case scenario for a buyer who understands what it's worth. Random mixed slub load will give you like five silver. So, mind you, no, find sure a buyer for this stuff. Ponce who thinks he's a wine expert. Oh, certainly. You just you have to find a buyer for this sort of thing. This isn't just I'm going to go walk over to the nearest trader and get money. You could drink it, pour pour some cheap wine in it, and recork it. Uh, I don't suggest <laughs> taking it out of its cork, personal. You know. Or just peel the label off and put it on a cheap bottle. Not how that works. It is if you if the person buying it is a moron. Yeah, they're an extreme moron. I'll give you that one. I think the easier thing is just to get a cork, drink all the wine, you drink the whole thing, then pour cheap wine in it and cork it back up. There are ways to tell if the seal has been broken, so it's not... If they have any ability and know, have any idea what they're buying for that amount of money, like if they have that much money to throw around, unless they're just one of those pompous Joffreys, you're, it's not going to work. Well, that's exactly it. You go after you go after some pompous know-it-all moron noble. But then he's going to want revenge when he figures it out eventually. Yeah, and by then I'll be at least level three. Uh, with the uh, with the wine cellar suitably uh, surveyed. That is way, all the wine. Uh, you can only you... carry so much of it out, obviously. Oh, it's fucking 52 yeah. bottles. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I reckon. And you're, you're probably talking liter and a half, three liter mm-hmm. bottles. Yeah, big ones. I'll just all get right, the ring right. that turns the blood to wine. God. <laughs> Fog had that way longer than he should have kept it. Anyway. Um, that's all that's in there, as far as you can tell, anyway. Uh, Mogren, are you, uh, uh, are you, uh, pocketing those? Shifty yes. eyes, shifty eyes. Wink, wink. Good, good. Alright, let's, uh... So, fellows. This, uh... I believe we've fulfilled our contractual obligations, but, uh... Any ideas why this place got raided if they never found this room? Orgies? There's still the downstairs, and in, yeah. you don't know. You haven't actually checked out the big barrels yet of whether or not you think that might be the thing he needs transported. Uh, point. It's Gatlock. If it was Gatlock, we'd all be dead, even more so. Didn't check. We didn't finish checking the the warehouse floor. <clears throat> They're barrels. They're barrels. They're barrels of wood. Wow. Well, okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly when these were made and the person that made them. <laughs> these are not. Um... Something you'd want to normally transport, Cerebus. You're quite familiar with these barrels because, as a slave, you were stuffed in them multiple times. It's an old trick. Uh, basically, the barrels look like something you might want to transport, but they're far too roomy, and anything you'd put in there would have to be so obscenely heavy. It's just not worth transporting stuff this big. This is the sort of thing where you'd take smaller casks and pour like liquids into them. Uh, these are going to be used for one or two things. Considering their position... Um, they're not positioned like ale barrels, so people would hide in these. First of all, I yell, they're totally full of names and start hacking them open. Basically, uh, they usually be stuffed full of a thin layer of hay. They have some air holes at the top. Uh, could hold about two, three people per, give or take. Yeah. Uh, I yell, they're full of slaves and start opening them random and start opening them willy nilly. You get a whole lot of hay. Uh, they're empty right now, apparently. With a very black expression, it says, Good. The question then is, where are they? Well, do you think those ladders may lead to anything other than escape tunnels? 
Did he mention Dude. the one was hidden? Oh my god, it's a reverse underground. Yeah, he's pointing that out. Yeah. Let's, uh... The, 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 hit, the one that was still hidden is less likely to contain armed bogeymen, so, uh... I'm, yeah. I'm a... That way, then. Uh, who's climbing down first? Uh, let's not, not all me. jump down there at once. I know, uh, that's I'll... why I said who's climbing down first. It goes I'm one at a time. I'm gonna say Rimless I'll... should be the one. I'll bravely lead the way. Alright, one second. I will sit back here and aim a crossbow at your head in case you turn on us. I begin a sexy dance. Or is that how I get shot? I can't. I don't know. How good a dancer are you? Do you have, does it work great? Oops. Wrong button. Oh, God. Sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Thank you. <laughs> uh. What have I discovered at the bottom of this ladder? I don't know. Take a look around. <laughs> yes. Yes, I can um, see. Okay, so I will explain. Uh, you make your way down the ladder, and a feminine voice uh, pipes up. That's far enough. And uh, you, you're sort of like halfway on the ladder as you like look over and see a pair of elves with bows drawn point at you. And another elf, this one actually noticeably younger, and you can tell because you're a sodding elf, than the others. And... With distinctive piercings all along her face, it's... You can't really make out what the fuck it is. It's like it's very... You imagine it's supposed to mean something or be a stylized symbol, but it's just kind of piercings on the forehead for the most part. Uh, she's raised her hands to imply stopping and goes, So you found the hide hole. You heard you, but it hoped you'd move on or take a rest. Clearly you're not going to. So let's talk. Hmm? Oh, I can just shoot you. With one hand, one foot on... Uh, is this ladder firmly affixed at the top, or is it just... Yeah, it's there? pretty firm. Okay, with one hand and one foot still on the ladder, I lean back and free the other hand so I can shrug. Go on. I know you're not alone, but I also know that you're hurt and uh, rather impressed by our skills, apparently. Why are you here? You're not just some band of thugs taking advantage of uh, the chaos, as it were. Uh, yeah, you've uh, you got me at a bit of a disadvantage. So, uh, yeah, we're 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 the cleanup crew for the people who operate out of this warehouse. We... Unexpectedly skilled. The last uh, group he came here, we slaughtered to a man without even. Hmm. Strange. Yeah, we 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 noticed that that that's because we we're the cleanup crew, not not the not the not the standards, not the standard uh uh schlubs. I see. Hey, no one follow me down until we until we uh, reach an agreement that's not going to fill my thighs with arrows. Okay. That would be wise. I shout up. So. Uh. So, uh you're here to get whatever the owner it is wants, yes? Uh, uh, there's some the apples, maybe, or the 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 owner just told us that the the, the place is you know overrun and well, there. Do you they're... not ask your masters any questions? Ugh, I am paid tales. handsomely to not. Bothersome. I'm going to presume what you seek is in the other basement. I would suggest going there, taking whatever supply your master has, and leaving. And staying lost. Uh, question, what is this uh, red line on the ground here? Oh, that is a... These go up to like an upper balcony thing, I don't know what the term is. Is it just like a step down, or...? It's like two steps down. Like this... Goes up. Okay, yeah. So this portion of floor is just higher than that one. Yeah, it? higher elevation. Uh, can I see what the devil that shiny thing is on the desk? Uh, yes, you can. It's actually, if you zoom in, it's a little more clear. That's a map, and there's some sort of. It looks like a bit like lyrium or something, like a chunk of lyrium. Not just like you know a potion, but like a rock chunk of lyrium, like just on it. 
Like she had okay. been using it for something. And a car and a couple chests back there. Mm -hmm. They're brushing their teeth with it. At this point, I'll accept any kind of you know communication, diplomacy, whatever you have to try and communicate. But if you have any, anything else to say, I am absorbing the information available to me and trying to figure out what. Uh... Can Valeria hear any of this? Some. Uh, a perception hearing will give you more. You can hear most of the conversation. Uh, the only bits you're not going to be able to hear too clearly are. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll point them out. But for ninety percent, you can hear it, and you can like hash out the rest. Sarah Bess is shot in the dick somehow. Don't ask how; it just is. Well, um, I, I'm certainly in no position to uh, dictate terms to, uh, to, to to people pointing uh, pointing arrows at me. So, um, uh, what? Uh, if uh, if if you've got everything you need from here, you can we tell our boss that you that we chased you off, or are you intending on tell your around? boss whatever you want? It doesn't matter. Just well, take your thing and go. Well, I I don't know what the boss wants. He, we're clearing out the place so that they can send the wagons by. <sighs> If they come across you while you're still here, I don't want to get them killed and have my good name tarnished. Then we are at a small, um, tiny bit of difficulty, because there is... N are you sure it's not simply the barrels? The other basement, full of them. There's nothing else here that would be transportable. Didn't know, but they haven't yet looked in the other basement. How about you do that before my patience runs out? Hmm? I'm already hey, half uh, a mind uh... to kill you myself and slaughter your friends. That's fair. Uh, you're, uh, you're, are these guys uh, the, the, the same like, sort of disguised yes. ruffians as the others? They are. So their disguises are not on, so it's just more clear that they're a little bit more professional than that. Uh, I don't suppose you mind telling me uh, how many more of your boys are uh, hanging around the place so that... How many more of your my men did you leave alive? Uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I think one of one got away I saw, and there's uh, seven more, no, eight more, waiting for the collectors to come by. I... Hmm. She takes a moment to kind of just put her hands on the table and just look into the middle distance. That does not make me any less inclined to try and kill you. Just try not to murder another of my employees. Simply uh, say the pass raise to Lanon and he'll stand down and come to me. Uh, Tulanen? Mm-hmm. Tulanen. Alright, uh, good to meet your acquaintance. Get uh, out of my fucking basement. Climbing up. Well, she seems pleasant. Get the hell out of my fucking warehouse already. She shuts up. She's an elf. Sarbus. Sarbus. Whisper, gesture you over. Sarbus has gone deaf. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, fire wouldn't happen to be your thing, is it? Not yet. Huh. I'm, I'm more of an ice and lightning type. Well, if you were to throw just, fire down there, this whole place would go up. This place is a giant pile of tinder. You'd all die. Just, just, just bear with me. Uh, uh, you two mind uh, gathering a whole bunch of the straw from those barrels and just stack it over here? 
Uh, I'm guys. okay with fire. Uh, guys, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just uh, keep a watch on uh, on this hole. And uh, there's two guys down there. You know, they'll, they'll kill us as soon as look at us. Uh, if they come up, try not to die. And uh, just, I'm going to check out the other basement while you guys set up some kindling here. All right. Uh, not a fire. Gonna burn some elves. It's oh, a good sorry. day. I'm just I'm planning. Technically, <laughs> shock should fires. So who's going down the uh, ladder then? The uh, ladder doesn't plan on letting him go alone, so he can go down first. But she's following. He puts out a fist to rock paper scissors, then drugs and carries on down. Ventures in sending the disposable one first. Oh, like sending the one in that doesn't have just five health. Yeah. Otherwise, she'd take the lead right now. That's her job. Uh, you actually get down the stairs most of the way, but you see the thug in question attempting to wiggle inside one of the barrels. Oi, buddy. Ah, he immediately goes for his weapons. I think you've spent too long on down here. Oh. That's the... Oh. Alright. Puts his blades away. It, it Move, don't... fucker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, about that. Just uh, give me a second. Let everyone else know that you're uh, that, that you're still hiding out down here. That they don't fill you full of uh, fill you full of bolts as soon as you show your head. Mm. Coming up. Show his hey, head. Uh, Twang. Black. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shows up. Frowns at everyone. Fuck, I thought I'd get at least one of you. Yeah, yeah, just join... Your, your, your boss is looking for you over there. Hmm. All right. And, uh... Yeah. Okay, he climbs down the ladder, and for all you know, that's handled. Yeah. Booker will continue that. to get the straw. And hum the I'm gonna burn some elves song to himself. Do you wanna go back down and search this new room then? After uh after uh, making sure that uh everyone knows yeah, there's 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 four of them down there now, just count the heads if they show them. Oh god, what have we gotten ourselves into? Oh, what the hell is down here? Bar barrels. I think from the way he was trying to climb into one, these are similar to ones above. These are the sort of, according to Cerebus, false barrels where they look like something that would contain stuff to transport, but in actuality are too big for efficient transportation, essentially. Let's make sure and... there's not already people in them. Good idea! Uh, peeling a couple open, there's none in these, and tapping on them makes no response, so they are just empty right now, stuffed of, you know, some straw. What's over here, the far side of that locked gate? More barrels, but these ones are smaller, more distinctly, I don't know, better quality, I guess is a good word. I'm these not saying these are poor quality, they're just like, comparatively, these are high quality barrels versus just normal quality barrels. And actually, this gate looks like it ought to be locked. Is it actually? Yes. Okay. Don't worry, it doesn't actually get to the wall properly. <laughs> do, these, do these look like they have air holes? Because if there's gnomes in there, I'm... Um... No, that'd be hilarious, <laughs> but no. I'll go get little grin. Those about the size of rum barrels? Bigger than that. Um, in this setting. You'd guess. <laughs> I'm just saying. Grain. Burn some bells. Certain kinds Gonna of produce. Burn some bells. Little grin. Burning uh, really short what? people, maybe? <laughs> dwarves? I guess dwarf-only barrels? <laughs> we have a lock downstairs. Gonna burn That's not burning elves. Come on. I'll but, take I'll right. help take care of that lot. And because I'm running short on mana, I actually need to take off my armor if I'm going to cast shock. Mm. Anyone else down with Bogren? Um, I should... I, I'm probably... 
Oh, well, okay. In case uh, what are you doing upstairs, Valera? Uh, Valera, Sarabus, how what are you guys doing? The, um, how was this hidden before? Huh? was covered in all these uh, loose boards. Gotcha. So Which had to move to get down there, it. so... Uh, we've been collecting up tinder because we're going to set it on fire and burn these people alive. I was thinking more just if I have to, we if we have to, we can smoke them out. No, no, we're gonna burn them alive. Just the, we'll, we'll, we'll get we'll 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 burn that bridge when we get to it. Literally. So I'm um, picking a lock. She's waiting at the top, basically not looking over because they have bows, and that'd be stupid. Right in their faces. <laughs> one at a time, one at a time. All right, so Valera, what are you doing? She's waiting at the top of the ladder. If someone shows their head unannounced, they get a sword through it. Wait, you said there's, okay. uh, there's more alcohol uh, sitting around, isn't there? There's, there's a, a lot more up. alcohol. Okay, I'm going to be running back and forth, pouring alcohol around the place. Okay, I'm just going to put you here. Uh, and they're doing news, and they're doing that, and you turn downstairs. Okay, so Don't you use the tools. You want to spread it downstairs, probably. Cerebus? I've also taken off my armor and handed it to Valeria. Okay. Cerebus, could you roll me a uh, perception scene? Okay. Da, 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 my perception da, da, da. is two. Uh, perception hearing as well? She would be here. Do, do, do. Getting ready to let place up. Can I pick this lock yet? Uh, one second, I think Cyrus has stumbled upon something. Uh, yes, uh, that statue there. I don't know how to put this. Basically, uh, its age causes it to crumble frequently. And ye, all the movement and the stomping and you shuffling shit has caused part of it to crumple. And you notice that there's um, some kind of stone lodged in it. Not like the rest of the stone around it. Some sort of lighter colored stone. And inside the stone, a sword. Psh, the sword in the stone. No, inside the stone, there's a soul that talks to me and teaches me how to become an arcane warrior. <laughs> mm, sure, why not? Let's just pretend that happened. <laughs> But if you oh, inspect it, I'm going to uh, inspect the stone. <laughs> it's not jammed in there or anything like that. It's um, well, I don't think you have any mineralogy no um, knowledge, so just rock cutting. Well, I do have yeah, I, like I said, lore I have the lore talent. So, well, I, I have the lore talent, which just means if I'm successful in my cunning roll, I get an extra piece of info. Okay, cool. Go for it. Nope. It's a rock. <laughs> oh, it looks shiny, I'm taking it. Fair enough. Uh, Valera, could you do me a perception hearing? Plus zero. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. Uh, okay, so you two are done for a little bit. Let me just move on to them real quick. Uh, Ren and Mogren, what are you two doing? There is a lock. You gonna pick it? I have... Focus the uh, ledger domain, or however you pronounce that. Uh, it is uh, ledger domain. Yeah, ledger domain, which includes picking locks. So, call me some cunning. Plus four. That'll do it, actually. The small barrels are for fairies. Hmm, doesn't quite go the way I want it to, so fuck it, we'll have it go this way. It swings all the way around and just whacks Rin in the face through the bars. Yeah, that's totally what happens. Alright, so you've opened it up and, uh... Well, the barrels are right the fuck there, so you'll poke them if you want. I'll poke a barrel. Um, it doesn't slosh, so this isn't liquid. Poke it with your penis. Uh, Considering these contain something, and they're not like the fakey transport barrels, this might be what Herrick's after. Uh, do they have quarks or anything? No, they're just sealed. It's probably produce or grains or something. How heavy are they? Uh, Hera, do you try and lift one? Please, no. No, they're not. Do you try and lift one? Logan 
Ren, either of you? I'm not lifted one, I'm a dwarf. Fair enough. Ren? It's as big as I am. It's about. I, I try to just to survey its weight. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Uh, you can lift it, but your knees are wobbling. This isn't something you want to transport if you, unless you're like a hard labor kind of person. I'm guessing they use ropes and pulleys to get them out of the basement. Or something. Uh, you're probably... doesn't smell strong of anything except dust, so... and wood. There's something in here, but it doesn't shift Does... enough for you to... doesn't make a lot of noise, either. Well... It's really heavy, though, despite its, like, size. It's like... Yeah... It's one of something that does shift, but subtly. Again, grain is a good guess. Again, unless you pry this thing open, it's impossible. It's filled with trebles. Well, completely out of character, I'm, I'm, uh, uh, I'm putting even odds that it's either black powder or drugs. But I have no way of knowing that in character, so... <laughs> so much black, drugs! No. <laughs> uh, black powder doesn't actually exist in the setting. Yeah, the only kind of black powder I think there is is Gatlock, which the Kunari keep a really keep a close a secret. Yeah, the, the gotcha, implication gotcha. is that Gatlock is is black powder, but only the Kunari have it. Bingo. Yeah, if, if you're if you have a way to get Gatlock and you're not Kunari, they're gonna come kill you with extreme prejudice. Roger that. Well, this is and the Kunari probably... do that a lot, actually. If the these. Empty transport barrels probably aren't it. So if it isn't the if it isn't the hall of uh, wines that's in the back room, this is probably the stuff. But we can't get it out on or like by hand. So uh, you can always pry it open and check. You have no idea how Herrick will feel about that. Right? It's, it's up yeah, in the air. Yeah, and 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 that's my source of food. I'm not messing with uh, I'm not messing with his goods. So fair enough. I, I well, I guess we can look for some ropes because the folks in the in the adjoining room, they're uh, they're they're probably going to kill anybody who comes in this building without uh, comes in this building to retrieve this stuff. Stopping well, next to Ren really quick. Really yeah. Yep. Burn them. And back up the ladder. Yeah, yeah, okay. have to, yeah Hold but on. we have Hold. to get this stuff Hold out on. of the stop. basement no, first. Stop moving. Okay. God damn. Over eager beavers. Yep, yep. So while you two are inspecting that, something's Fill happening. Tender, put alcohol all over it. Guys in the other basement have succeeded on their hearing check. Bar they don't need to. Gonna burn some L's. Do 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 do. Burning the L's. Da, 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 da. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. God, it's so obvious where you fucked up, but like you guys can't seem to put it together. So, uh, Valera, saying it right? No. Valera. Valera? Valeria. There's an I in there. Valeria, so it's a two letter. God, I can't. I don't know. Fuck it. That's why it's written Valeria. Valeria, mm. Valeria. I don't know. It just. It doesn't Say look like Rhea. it. It's okay. Are you familiar with magic? Tolaria? No. It just, okay, well, it's no. exactly. No. Say, say, say Rhea. Rhea? Yeah. Just put that on the end of Val. Uh... Oh, Rhea. Uh, I'll keep yeah, trying. That's not quite right. Full leg. Carry on. Yeah, it's Anyways, I'm guessing these guys teleported. I feel it? bad. I'm... Everyone's still mispronouncing Avalathel. Avalathel. I give up. Um, you're now Val. All right. So, Val, your first um, inclination, something has gone wrong, is arrows start flying. So, Do against... we color our thugs differently? Like give, just sure. give them a blue halo or something. Because they're little angels. There we go. That's bright enough. All right, then. Arrow time. Oh, yeah. That guy who came to the basement snitched on us. Okay. He is amazingly going to be dead. And, oh, he figured it out. Yes. Throw it the fuck by. No, I you knew idiots it was gonna making happen. a big pile of flaming shit while the dwarf is humming like the Burn the Elves song. Like, really? <laughs> None of it is a fire yet. They're not that stupid, unfortunately. 
Gonna burn the elves with my tinder. Da, 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 da. All right then. Uh, this man is so fucking dead. I'm not gonna tell you what stunts he uses other than the murder one. How exactly are they? Where are they? Oh, huh. How did they get up there so quickly? You don't know. I had rolls, but. Eh. Okay, if they snuck past me, that's impossible. No, 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 no. They never came out. Of okay. Either that, of those at just any saying, point. saying that'd be dumb. No, they did not. I guarantee you, they never came out of those at any point yeah, for any reason. They... They they had some sort of exit to the street. They those were bolt holes. And he's dead. Lark. Uh shot on the other one. Uh let's see. Blarg. Uh, they can't shoot you from their position, but you see your two friends get arrowed in, like, the fucking face and die. I'll say they also shot them, though, for, for, for lols. Just because they don't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, they're definitely all dead. So your two friends flop over dead in front of you, Valera, that is dead, arrowed. And then the, uh, distinct voice of the, uh, elf from before pipes up and goes, You fuckers have no idea what you're doing. Fair enough. Uh, do they roll initiative, it. though. I'm going down. Yeah, no, that's fair. Uh, do roll initiative, though, everyone. Plus two on mine. Roll plus two. I get to go first on everything. It looks Lord. like it. I get uh, plus two. And see everything. Since it was almost all sixes. Time smells like apples. It smells like apples wrapped in bacon and marinated in socks. Alright, who beat what? Well, Mogren's gonna go first. Okay. Mogron, you hear the elves and the twanging of bows. And the shouts of dying elves. Yeah. We get to burn elves quicker. What would you like to do? Hmm. I'm... Um... Ascending the ladder, is that part of a move action, or is yes. that a major action of its own? No, it's part of a move action. It, it simply takes an extra square to go through. Okay. Short ladder? Yep. They're not that far down. Well, alright. Uh, I will go up the ladder and come out over here for a total of six movement there. Mm -hmm. Another three spec till we get there. Oh, hi. Hello. I was gonna mum. <laughs> fuck this, I'm gone. Oh man. Okay, fuck that, you're gone. Ren. Five. Uh, six to there or to there? To there, where you are now. To, to... Okay. Yes. Uh. I would probably need to come to at least here, wondering where there, the yeah. hell did Mogren go, and oh shit, you guys. Uh, I took. I take one look over my shoulder at Valeria. One She's over. Eyeing this. Pointedly. Sarabas. 
Uh, you said it's not far? What is? Vertical. Oh, like, yeah, no, yeah, it's not uh, down very deep, no. It's like a square or two of movement. If you're like jump or something. I'll need the other basement revealed. Ah, fair enough. Well, I need to put something down then, so one moment. What, and you didn't choose one of us? Sorry, it's just being, for some reason, it's being difficult. There you go. Uh, that is my 12th unit of speed, so that's all a move action. You know, um, there's a ladder coming from the roof, finger quote, right there. Coming from what? The roof. You're, under, oh, you're in the basement, there's a ladder coming from the roof. Apparently yeah. there is a secret hatch. Yeah, that'll go up to street or another room, probably the front room. Um, About there, you guess. Uh... Would I be blocking anyone coming down the ladder from here? From where exactly you are? Uh, technically, no, but if another person that, then yes, you're blocking shit. As a miner, I ready my bow. Alright, fair enough. Thugs. Hop, 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 hop. Up, 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 up. Oops. They've merged. Up, 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 up. Uh, once you can just go there. Uh, well, these two see Cerebus and draw blades. And that's all they can do. Uh, this thug reloads his bow. And that's all they do. Hey. Cerebus. Um, so I'm getting told that I need to go mow the lawn. What are the rules <laughs> for moving for somebody on this? Uh, it's it's six o'clock. We could uh, we 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 could take this point as or the end of this round as uh, time to end. We'll say here. We'll here's fine. fine. I at least want to get my turn. Okay, fine. Every turn. Because and there are no rules. Right. You can move right through, through these guys. Right. Okay, good to know. Muscle past them. There are no way actually blocking you. It just makes sense for them to stand there. You know. Hey guys, I suggest leaving. I'm going to attempt to cast Shock. Hey. Bam. On. I've loaded this whole place up with Tinder and alcohol. Oh dear. <laughs> I'll get the fire. Bye! I don't think we have a Kunari. I think we have a troll. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to take my turn before we ended. That's about right. I suggest everybody gets out. I <laughs> yell as my turn ends. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna fucking leave now, and that'll be the for next session, though. Burn them. Burn them gonna be so goddamn mad at you. I don't even care. Alright, uh, well that'll be it for this session. Uh, here, spell hat. Mm. Oh, right. But I like having lava. Yes, I've set this whole wooden building that may be full of Gatlock on fire. Let's run. If that is Gatlock, we are totally boned. Oh, yeah. It's going to take out, like, the whole block. But in fairness, my character didn't see that. Yeah.
I was wandering. I was around putting up tinder like the elf told me to. Gonna burn the elves. Totally burnt their hideout. <laughs> You're all fucking insane. Do, 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 do. I am not insane. Hey, this reference back to actually, I think that was before uh, Skull had even joined. Back when I was playing Aaliyah, and my first response to everything was burning it down. Let me know when the stream's off. We can't get through this. Yeah, big wooden, big wooden door. We can't get through. I got a solution. Takes out, take out my <laughs> tinder twigs. Yeah.